So I was thinking about this over the weekend. What would be something really tangible and concrete? And I'm going to try harder than I did last week to keep this short. But I have a really cool tool that I want to share with you guys today. Um, again, this is day five. And in this one, we are going to be looking at how you can optimize the imagery that you use in your social media to drive more engagement. So here's an example. Let me jump over to my web browser. So if I go to my LinkedIn, nothing, no calls to action in my personal one. But if I go into LinkedIn and you look at my profile, one of the things that you'll see here, you zoom in on that, is I've got this big red circle, right? So that red circle is an image overlay that I created for the image. So I found an image, I wanted to use it as a cover photo, but I didn't just want the picture, I wanted to be able to capture your attention and, and hopefully lead you in a specific direction. And uh, we can use this, like say in the cover photo, we can use it in all kinds of places. So I thought it might be cool to show you guys how to do that without having to buy software and do all that kind of stuff. The other thing is, is I know you guys often have really cool tools that I haven't heard of before too. So if you're watching this, whether it's live or later, if you have like your favorite app that you use for editing images before you send them out in social posts um, or little, little overlays, things like that, all kind of stuff, there's just so many of them out there, you can't keep track of them all. But I found some that I think are pretty um, powerful that I wanna share with you guys today. So I guess what I want first is some feedback um, does that sound of interesting to you guys? And then also before we get in this too deep, if you do have any of those uh, apps or ideas on the top of your head, go ahead and post that in the comments. I'd, I'd, I'd like to look at that real quick. Okay, so the first, I guess I should give you a second to write that stuff in. I was thinking I probably should create a monologue here and start off with jokes while everyone comes into the room. Um, but uh, the, the jokes that we've been doing lately are the Jimmy Fallon jokes, the um, go on and get. If you ever watched that one, go on and get COVID-19. Right, we've been making up jokes like that. I won't share any with you. I won't bore you with those, but. Anyways, here's what I want to share with you guys, how to do this. Um, I use a tool called Canva. Let me get out of this screen real quick and go, let me just refresh it to the main page. So I'm curious, first off, for those of you guys on the call, do you use Canva? Is this a tool that you've used before and do you like it? Um, don't wanna to preach to the choir if you've already got this stuff figured out. Check here, make sure I'm not missing any comments here. But what I like about it is it's a perfect tool for creating cover photos. And a lot of times on your cover photo, whether you're an in insurance or real estate, you wanna put maybe your name or your email, or your phone number or a specific call to action. And so I find Canva is a really nice tool for doing that. It's very simple. Um, you can sign up for free. They do have a paid for version. Once again, I try to get as much mileage out of the free things as I can, just because you know you spend like 10, 15 bucks here and there. Before long, you got 40 of them and it all adds up. So I just use the free version. If you do use the paid version, I'd love to get your feedback on what the pro grade um, features are like. But I found that the free version works pretty good. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. So Cordell's using it, cool. Um, Crystal, have you used it before? I, You know what, Crystal, I need to look at your Facebook profile. We need to do an audit. We need to actually sit down and audit it and go through all the things you can do to optimize it for, for sales. Um, no problem, we'll just have to stay six feet away from each other, right, while we're doing that. So let's go ahead and I'll show you both Facebook or LinkedIn. Let's do um, Facebook first because it has better templates in Canvas. With LinkedIn, you kind of have to make them yourself. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna type in Facebook cover. I'm gonna do a search. And what you're gonna see here is it's come, it comes up with a whole bunch of them. So when you first, when you first look for this stuff, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different kinds of, of ideas that they've already created. With. And But all of these, you can edit all of these. So if I see one that I like, just know that you can change the picture, you can change the text, you can make all this stuff, it's all free. It's very simple. So let me just see if there's one that I kind of like here. Um, oh, that one's kind of nice, Mountain Balance. Let's see. 
Okay, we can, we can go ahead with this one. I'll, it doesn't really matter, I'll just pick one. So when we pick this, let me zoom in here. Then what you can see here, stuff can be edited and changed. So when you see the text here, right, I can replace the background, I can change the text. So we could call this one, let's say I was, you know, Brett Allen, um, real estate sales, right? Or I could do um, insurance, you know, whatever you want it to be. And then on this one, you can put whatever you want your call to action to be. Might even be that you want your call to action to be the bigger text. So I might say, Brett Allen insurance agent. And I could just say, um, what's a good call to action? A good call to action could be visit my website. It could be read a post down below. Um, I think on my LinkedIn, I say, you know, get free, um, here for, for real estate, you could actually do free, you know, local listings, something that's going to capture their attention. Um, you know, here's one, you know, what's your house worth? And, uh, I can stretch this out a little bit and we'll, we'll say I'm a real estate agent in this one, realtor. And then I can change the colors. So I can, I can select this, say, okay, well, you know, that's not really my color scheme. So here's the color. And then I just pick which one I want. Do you guys have a, uh-oh. Okay, Crystal's telling me that I keep getting interrupted. Um, ping me on that in a, Ping me on that again in a minute or two if it doesn't clear itself up. Uh, the power was unhooked to something which might have caused smaller bandwidth issues. So we'll see if, if that works. And then I'm, let me zoom back in here. So you can pick whichever colors you want. So you get your colors. Same thing with the picture. I can go over to my uploads on the left. I've got all, I can add my own photos. So I can go to uploads and I can get a picture that I've put in here. So here we've got my photo. So I'm going to put that in there and replace the existing photo, right? And so I can even make it a little bit bigger. So the cool thing about this is you can do this very quickly without a lot of effort. You don't have to understand things. And once it's done, once I get it the way I want it, I can go ahead and download it. And when I download it, I can have it just locally on my computer. So this makes it really, really simple without having to do anything too fancy. Um, just save it wherever I want to. I'll save this into my desktop. And of course, they're going to remind you to try to get you to, up, to upgrade. Um, I'm getting feedback from one of you guys that you're having interruptions. So um, let me ask you, Cordell, because um, it does. I haven't seen any feedback from you on that. Are you having any interruptions in the video? Is it chunking out? It might be that everyone in um, Vail, Oregon, is using the internet this morning. Every once in a while today for me too. Just keep going. It catches up and should be good on your replay. Okay. Yeah, so um, we're just going to hang in there for a while and see if we're going to go get where we want to go. And we're really, like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of time this morning. It's a Monday. You got lots to do. You got all your emails to check and uh, kids to tickle and all those kinds of things working from home. So that's, that's, a, that's really an example of how you could do it for Facebook. I want to show you how I created it for LinkedIn because it's a little bit more technical. So let me zoom in here. If you go into LinkedIn, go into your LinkedIn profile, then I can go into edit mode. So I'm going to edit this. And when I do that, it gives me the, the window where I can change my cover photo. And what's good about this is it shows me the exact size because there isn't a template right now that I found in canvas that's pre-made for the exact LinkedIn one. 
So I just have to remember 1584 by 396 if you want to make it exact. You don't have to because it'll allow you to crop it a little bit when you upload your image. And I'll show you that in a second. But just in case you want to be perfect, and I should I should write that down. 15, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna type it in here just so I can look back at it here in a second. So 1584 by 396. And that's for the I can type. That's for LinkedIn. Cover. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva and then I'm going to create one. Now I'm just going to create it from scratch and I'm going to write custom design. And so in this one, now I'll put in that. So the width was 1584 and the height is 396. And I'm just going to create my design. Now to begin with, it's going to be blank. There's not going to be anything going on here. But once again, I can look at some templates that I want to use on the side, or I can just start with my own photo. So in this one, I'm going to go ahead and go to uploads. And then if you add a new image, right from your computer, you can just go there and upload it. But I'm going to go ahead and again, use one that I've had in here before. You can see I've helped some other agents with this. Um, here's a, here's a nice one. We'll pretend for a second that, oh, nope, that one. Well, yeah, I think it would probably be high enough resolution. So we're going to pretend for a second that I am. Nope, I don't like that one. I'm going to delete it. Oh, here's a nice golf one. So I can go ahead and adjust this image size. Move it up to where I want it to be. All right. And now I can go ahead and I can create the call to action for it. So on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into elements. And so I'm just going to, I recently used a circle. I'll use that one again. I'm going to pick that one. And now I can create that circle, put it wherever I want to, change the color as needed, right? I think I used red before to make it bright. And then I'll make a little oblong here. That's a horrible color scheme. I don't want to take too much time on this. You know what I'm doing here. So I do like colors though that are going to capture attention. So let's do orange. And then I'm going to go in here and do text. So I'm going to click text. And then there's all these pre-created ones. So that one's kind of nice. I like that one. So I just clicked on it and then it automatically puts it over here. And then I can move it where I want to. And then I can just put, um, you know, whatever my call to action is. And so I can put that in there. I can change it so it's centered. And then I can put the information I want down here. Brett Allen, center that one. And you can see very quickly, you can create an image that has layers on it. So that's, that's really the main thing I want to share with you this morning on this. Um, another way that you'll use this is going to be if you're creating articles. So for example, this is an interesting thing that's probably worth talking about. So how do you get more views on the internet? The truth is the internet, especially the web is going to um, index individual pages. So if you create an article or a blog post, that's going to be new, fresh content and when you add your name in it or whatever the topic is, so maybe we're talking about insurance or real estate, right? 13 things to know about, um, you know, buying a retirement home or a beach cottage, you know, whatever those, the headline's gonna be. You wanna also use imagery in those things that's going to grab their attention and that you can infuse your call to action into that too. Because a lot of times we look over the text and we wanna look at that image. So, um, but to my point is, Every time you publish a blog post, you've effectively created a new page. And there's all those things you can do, right? You can optimize it for keyword density. You can optimize it for keyword proximity, all those different kinds of things. Um, and what's cool about LinkedIn is you actually don't have to have your own blog to create articles. So 
and I'm a bad example as I haven't posted anything in a while, but let's just go ahead and look down on my stuff, on my activity. You can see here that I, let me zoom in for you. You can see here that I have created some articles and these articles are technically indexed website pages that are indexed by Google. So for example, if I wanted to go in here, this is one on how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. It was a tip that I um, had a lot of people ask me questions about. So it's called optimizing your LinkedIn profile headline to stand out and get more clicks. And in it, I just kind of walk through how to do that. And so it has the instructions. And then I've also found that symbols make a lot of difference. Um, I think if you look at mine, let's see what does mine save? I've got two thumbs up in mine, so nothing too exciting. But when I look at that, you can see all this. So this technically is a page right here. Take your LinkedIn profile headline to the next level. So I don't know if this will show up. It's a little bit older article. Let's just see, um, let's go LinkedIn headline Brett Allen. I'm just kind of curious to see if it, if it finds it. Well, it did find me here. Found me there. This was a couple years ago. There it is right here. Optimize your LinkedIn profile headline to stand out and get more. So that one there is a link. I don't know if it's going to take us to the actual article. Oh, it's taking me to my articles page. So do you see what I did there? By just creating an article, you can create more content that's really just for you. And let's say you jump ship and you leave your, you know, your existing company to go sell at another company. All this stuff, all this stuff goes with you. You don't have to leave this behind. So here's what I want to show you how to do real quick. And then I think we'll just call it just do a quick one this morning. When you go into LinkedIn, a lot of times we don't even see this, but it's there and it's this button that says write an article on LinkedIn. So let me zoom in there. See how it says write an article on LinkedIn right here. You just click that and then now we have the menu or really the template for creating content. So you can write anything you want. You can click on this. You can add images. You can add, you can embed a video. Um, I'll show you an example of that in a minute. Put slides, links, snippets, anything you want. Um, you can do some of the formatting up here, but you also have this cover photo here. And so this is where we can grab, right? Let's see. So here's some, here's uh, the headline from uh, my 14 days of training here. So you can see like this with this headline, it's a pretty big image. Let it load up here real quick. But what you see with this is it loads up that you can add custom imagery to your post. Now I can change this so it fits in there, but I might say, you know what, maybe, you know, maybe you have an image that doesn't really have text on it and then you wanted to put a call to action. This is another situation that's really good to use Canva because you can create that. So um, let's just go back to Canva and let's say we find one here that looks like a, a good example. Um, yeah, we'll call that one. So. So here we've got this one. We can change this to whatever we want. So like 13 um, tips for um, buying your retirement home. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. That's probably too small. Okay. And so what we've done here is just very quickly, we've been able to create imagery that's going to speak out more than just having a picture by itself. So I can just go ahead and download this and we'll download it. Make sure I know where it's downloading it um, to my desktop. Okay. And then now when we go back into LinkedIn and we want to create that image for that article, back here. Oh, maybe right. Where's, where's it at? Let me zoom in. Sorry, guys. So now when we're, we're back into LinkedIn and we want to go ahead and create that article, we've got everything we need to have a really cool cover photo that's going to speak out louder than if it was just a picture by itself. So now I'm going to click write article. 
And then this time I'm going to click this to hit the cover photo. I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to grab that picture we just made right there. So I can open this up. And it's just a really cool way I find without having to use Photoshop or messing with your, I, I like computers. I'm old, so I can't see very well. Um, so for me, I, I really like it when I can look at the big computer screen. And what I find this is, this is more helpful. And I can also, I can have it be shorter or wider. This one actually looks pretty good wide. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then right down here, we can add our credit if we want. We can put in our headline. We can start writing in our article. Um, this is a cool way for us to get those views because when I publish this, what happens is this article is going to stay on my LinkedIn profile. Whenever you, well, I mean, everything pretty much stays, but they get lost. So when you create a social post, it might be active for a week or so. But what happens, you have to realize that when anyone is coming to check you out, especially on LinkedIn, they're really there probably to confirm a, a hunch, right? Someone has mentioned your name. Someone has said, well, you know what? You should talk to, um, you know, oh, hey, Derek. So Derek, right? You say, hey, you know, I heard Derek's this amazing insurance professional or he works for me. He, he does all my businesses and he's the best. So you should use him too. So then now I'm going to, your prospect, I'm going to go on LinkedIn. I'm going to check you out. Well, when I come to your profile to check you out, right? We'll just go to mine. I won't put you on the spot, Derek. But if I look at mine, what's going to happen here is I can actually see what you've been up to, right? I'm going to look at your information. And there's all the main stuff. Now, of course, this is my own, so I get all these ugly pencils and things. It's not as pretty. But when I zoom in here and I scroll down, you can see right here, it's got the activity. And so it's going to show what I've been up to. And you can see all activity. So this will let me see what Brett, you know, what's this, what's this Derek guy been up to? And so I can see if you've left a comment or if you create a social post. But what happens is with the post, right? It might be you had a good one, then you had one that kind of went flat, and then you had a good one. And so some of them are getting more visibility than others. And so when you look at this, go. What I like about the articles, again, these articles are really nice standalone website pages that are optimized or that you can optimize for search. And so if we, let me just go back to, there's an example here I want to show you, this one right here. So this is Brene Brown, and in this article, though I wrote it several years ago, it's still applicable today. Your social selling education won't be complete until you meet Brene, Brene Brown. And in it, I've got this article that I talk about her. I talk about some of her books. Um, and then in it, I actually embedded a bunch of videos. So if you, let's see if they'll load up. So I actually made it really easy. So what I've done is I've aggregated a bunch of information and I've made it really easy for you to consume it. So it's got the information about her. It's got her books. It's got, you know, uh, videos and things like that. So this is an actual page. And so again, we can go and search, right? Let's just search on the web. If we type in Brett Allen and Brene Brown, let's see if we can find this page. Okay. So we found Brett Allen and then here it is. Your social selling education won't be complete until you meet Brene Brown. So I really like how we can use these articles to get more instances of our content up on the web. So a lot of times we think about LinkedIn, we're like, oh, I just need to optimize my profile. I want people to see my profile. But every single article that you publish is going to be content that can be indexed and that people can see it. And, uh, and I guess this is kind of a, a part two, like part one is talking about how to make these pictures really nice on them. So when you read them, then it's, you know, it's pretty inconsumable, but, but it's also important to know that when you're publishing articles like that, that's just increasing. I, I always think of it like, it's one more billboard in the back of a baseball field, right? You know how you go to your, your local baseball field to watch the kids play baseball and there's like Joe the plumber and Ronnie's landscaping, stuff like that. Well, every single one of these articles, they're one more instance of signage that's out there on the web that people can run into. And so it's, it's just a great thing to do. So the question becomes, okay, how do I make them good, right? How do I make the articles good? Um, and there's a lot of, we're not going to go into that today, like how to write a powerful article. The headline make matters. What we've showed you is how the, to use the imagery. So when we're looking at this, where's my example? Did I, I might've killed it. Let's see. Um, anyways, with these, this kind of stuff here, we can add cover photos to that. We can use Canva, like we talked about to make them really nice and add calls to action. And that's, that's really cool. Um, one last thing that crosses my mind that I want to share with you guys is a trick. 
and this is kind of a cool little tactic. How are we doing on time? Okay, I, I'm supposed to be done right now, but I'm gonna go for three more minutes, okay? Because I'm trying to keep these short. Um, a lot of times on social media, we share other people's content, right? So if I go into my LinkedIn, so I'm gonna go home here, and I'm gonna look at content here. So we're gonna find stuff and we're gonna share it. And so what happens is we get something and when we share it, okay, so here's Shelly, um, she's a friend of mine. So I, she's got an article, right? So if I click this article, here's my question. Is this article going to take me deeper into the world of Shelly or is it gonna take me to some third party place? And what happens is I, obviously you know this, right? I click this and now I'm going to a website, right? And it looks like, I, I didn't, I didn't, it's cool, she gave me some cool information, but I didn't build a stronger relationship with her. And so one of the things that you can do, and I find this is really helpful if something's going on. So like right now we've got COVID-19 going on. And the question is, how is that affecting your, your business? So this might be something where just like with Brene Brown, I could aggregate a bunch of information and make my own blog post about it. I then would be driving people deeper into my space. So the way we do it is you're gonna go out and you're gonna find, let's use COVID-19 for an example. You go out and you find three or four, at least three, I like to do at least three articles that you think are really good. And instead of just sharing them individually, you're gonna now go into LinkedIn and you're gonna create your own article that's gonna summarize you speaking. It's you saying, hey, you know what? COVID-19 is going on and a lot of people are asking me how this is affecting the insurance industry or the real estate industry or whatever industry you're working in. Um, and I want to share with you a couple articles I found. And then you add one more thing. And I want to tell you why I like them. And so what happens though is you don't have to think deep and write this big old long article. What you're going to do is you're just going to read a couple articles, find one or two key elements out of them that you think has high value that you can summarize. And then when you're in LinkedIn and you go in, you know, you go to home, you create your article, then what you can do here is you can go ahead, create your your cool picture using Canva with a nice call to action, put the headline or some sort of call to action in that picture. And then down here, when you write the article, you can just say, you know, like, um, you know, we're all, you know, quarantined or whatever it might be. I don't want to take time to write it. But what happens is I can go ahead. Um, I hate typos. So quarantine right now, you know, I've been getting, let me zoom in. A lot of questions about, you know, da, 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 da. So, um, you know, to make your life easier, here are some articles that I found helpful. Um, and then you could just be like article one. And then what you do is you click this button right here and then you make it a link, right? And you put in the link to it. So we'll just use Google for now as an example. But that would be the link, of course, to your article. And then you can also say, you know, you know, I really like how this article, you know, says da, 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 da. And this is why this is cool. This is cool for two reasons. Number one is, you're saving me time. As your prospect or client, I don't have to read the whole article. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. And if you can show me like the value of it really quickly, especially if you put a couple of them together, then, then I'm like, man, thanks. You, you kind of helped me get my head around this certain thing. And whether it's COVID-19 or it's why you should use an independent agent versus a direct writer or why um, a realtor um, can, you know, even though only 28% of realtors ever find a home for their realtor or for their prospects and over, I think 50% of people now find their home by themselves before they contact a realtor. And you're like, oh, I gotta say something that's gonna help them see my value. And you've got some little cool thing. Then you can share that in here. You can grab some other content that's gonna bring that together. And you can use a couple of these articles uh, that are out there. So now what happens when this is all done, you go and you share. So once you publish this, right, and let me just go back to my other articles to show you this as an example. Let me zoom in here. Um, 
post an activity. So, so I'm going to go into my article. So let's say you've just finished your article, right? Once it's done, um, so here's one that's teach. I can actually share this, right? So I can copy the link to it and I can take it over to Facebook. And I can go into Facebook and I can paste this. And guess what? I now have, that one didn't bring the picture over for some reason. Um, but now I've got a way to be able to take an article I was just going to share. You know, effectively what we've done, we've taken an article that we were just going to share and send people somewhere else. As a little bit more work, we've actually created our own blog post that's its own standalone web page that can be optimized on the web for those keywords. And when people click it, it's going to take them to our presence. And if we share a post on social media, when they click it, they're not going to go to that third party. They're going to go to our blog, whether it's your standalone blog or an article within LinkedIn. This is cool. In fact, you can do it for just one article, right? Just find one article, figure out what is the coolest thing about it, and then create your own article in LinkedIn. No one's going to be like, wow, you know, your articles are like, you're not the New York you know, times. You don't have to publish things like super fancy. So just in LinkedIn, you've created that article that's all about that one article and then you share that post. So now when you share that post in LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or anywhere, every time they click it, they're coming deeper into your world. They're coming into your, your, your place. Okay. So I feel like I'm kicking a, a down horse on that one. We got that. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So I said I'd be three minutes and that's six minutes. So I hope that this was helpful. Um, I hope that, that you can have fun with Canva. Um, and like I said at the beginning, um, if, if you're using some cool apps on your phone to optimize video or images for your social posting, then please in the comments, I'd love to hear what those are. Because the only way, I, I'm honestly, the only way I've ever learned things really well, I have read some things and learned some things, but the way I learn the most applicable and helpful things in this space is when you guys show me stuff. And so whether I'm doing, I always call them drive-bys, but drive-alongs with the territory managers and visiting agencies, or um, you show me something cool that you're doing in a coaching call, uh, those are the things that come right from the real front lines. That's the stuff you guys are doing. And so um, one, one last tip in closing off, one of the things that I've seen people do all the time too um, a guy, um, you might know Jeff Arnold. Jeff Arnold is, uh, I think it's from Jeff Arnold. If not, I'll give him credit because he's awesome. And, um, but in his LinkedIn articles, what he does is he actually takes pictures of people from his office. And even though his content may not have anything to do with his office, he just puts some of those images in all of his articles to, to be able to help create facial recognition and create familiarity. So whether you're posting on a blog post or you're posting articles on LinkedIn, um, you, if you take pictures of a day in the life, of course, right now we're all quarantined, so I don't know if we can do that or not. I mean, it's up to you depending on how much clothes you put on the morning. But you can even just hire like a wedding photographer and say, you know what, come into my office and I'd love it if you could just spend two hours going around the office while we're all here. It's a Friday, you have meetings, things like that. And I just want you to take awesome quality pictures, right? Of the receptionist answering the phone and of people working at their desk and on the phone and talking to each other in the hall. And all of a sudden you get all these really cool pictures. Of course, you have to have everyone on board with the, in doing this. And then you've got all these pictures that you can actually put into your LinkedIn articles, your blog post articles, or even for social posts that are going to help bring more familiarity into who you are and what you're about. Okay. So I just, my brain just gets full of all these different ideas. Um, and that's really what I wanted to cover today. So you guys are awesome. Really wanted to, I wanted to cover was creating cover photos and we did that on Canva. Um, we didn't really talk about social posts too much, but all the things we did with Canva, you can do for an actual social post as well. And then we talked about the article cover images and we got into that discussion article. So send me some feedback. Let me know if I missed anything. If there's any other questions you guys have, I wish you guys as always health safety. I hope your family's safe. This whole thing is starting to get a little, I've been, I haven't been too nervous. Uh, I'm starting to get a little nervous. Um, you know, first I thought it was just, here, I'm going to get out of my soapbox here. First I thought this is a, a news media developed story. It's not really going to be worse than H1N1. Um, I'm not feeling that way anymore. I'm feeling like this is actually pretty serious. Um, so I hope you can be safe. 
If I can share anything that can help you move forward in creating engagement with your prospects and your clients, please don't hesitate to text me, email me, Facebook me, you can call me if you want, if you've got my number. Um, and we're just going to keep on doing this. So we're going to do this all week, every day. I'm going to try to stick it to about 30 minutes. And I'll just share with you some cool tactics that I hope you find helpful. So thanks so much for joining me today. Share this with your friends. Love to have them come. And I'm just going to look on the, the comments to make sure there aren't any comments I've missed before we close it up. So let's take a look here. Okay. Um, Cordell is saying one resource that he really likes is Adobe Spark. Um, hey, Cordell, I would like to talk to you about that. So if you, if you have any downtime in the next couple of days, why don't, why don't we talk on the phone about that? I'd like to see, because I haven't used Adobe Spark. I, I probably because there's a little bit more of an investment, but maybe I don't know. So I'm not familiar with that one. So I'm going to talk to Cordell, everyone. And if we find anything really cool with that, which we probably will, uh, maybe I'll throw Cordell on the video. We'll do a, a, a Zoom call, right? Should have bought that stock a month ago. Okay, we're going to call it. We're good. I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, I think tomorrow we're actually going to talk about, what was it? I, I had it written down this morning. I can't remember right now on the top of my head, but I'll post out tomorrow before we go live what the topic is. So thanks, guys. I hope this is somewhat fun, fun for me. Give me something to do a little more specific than, you know, wash dishes and cook, cook extra meals, right? Are we all eating so much? Okay. So again, thanks and I'll talk to you guys later.